guys, let's find a solution to the problem we have today. So we have 3 to the x plus x equal to 30. This is a very special type of exponential equation. There are basically two approaches to solving this special type of exponential equation. The first one is using graphical method, and the second one is using lambert w function. We shall make do with the lambert w function in the course of proffering this solution. So first and foremost, I will subtract s from both sides. So we are going to be having 3 to the x equal to 30 minus x. I can actually write this to be 30 minus x equal to 3 to the x. So if a is equal to b, b is also equal to a. And the next thing I shall do is to divide both sides by 3 to the x. So I will divide the left hand side by 3 to the x, divide the right hand side by 3 to the x. Now on the right side, 3 to the x we divide out, we are left with 1. Then on the left side, we are going to be having 30 minus x multiply 3 to the negative x. Because of the fact that if you take the inverse of a positive exponent, you get a negative exponent from the inverse law of exponents. So we have 1 on the right side. 3 to the x, we cancel out. And the next thing is for us to make this coefficient here, 30 minus x, the same with the exponent we have here. Now, the Lambert W function, W of a e to the a is equal to a. Our target and objective is to write this equation, both the left-hand side and the, right, and the right-hand side, to achieve this format before taking the Lambert W function or the product logarithm. So for us to ensure that parity here, for the exponent here to have the same value as the coefficient here, we need to multiply both sides of this equation by 3 to the power of 30. We're going to be having 30 minus s multiplied 3 to the negative x multiplied 3 to the power of 30 equal to 1 multiplied 3 to the power of 30. So if we use the product rule of exponent here, if we have a to the s multiply a to the y, is something as a to the s plus y. So we are then going to be having 30 minus x multiply 3 to the power of 30 minus x equal to 3 to the power of 30. So guys, you can see that uh, we are gliding through, you know, achieving this symmetricity on the left-hand side. Now, you are seeing the exponential function here. It means that we need to write the base on this left-hand side first before we now deal with the right-hand side. We need to write this base 3 to the exponent of e to the ln. Now, in mathematics, the exponential function and the natural logarithm function are inverse mathematical process. So, e to the ln is equal to 1. So, I can actually write 3 as 30 minus x. Then this 3 here, I would then write it as e to the ln of 3 all raised to the power of a 30 minus x, everything equal to the power of, uh, okay, everything equal to 3 to the power of uh, 30. Now, e to ln of 3 all to the 30 minus x, I will use the power rule to take care of that. So if I have a to the s all to the y, it is something as a to the power of s multiply y. So, we are going to be having 30 minus x in parentheses 
e to the ln, okay, e to the power of 30 minus s, then ln of 3 equal to 3 to the power of uh, 30. Now you can see that we are progressing systematically. So for us to achieve the same exponent and the same coefficient, we need to multiply both sides by ln of 3. So 30 minus s multiply ln of 3 exponential. 30 minus s multiply ln of 3 equal to 3 to the power of 30 multiply ln of 3. So we have achieved the desired result on the left-hand side. So you can see that w of a e to the a is equal to a. So we can then take the lambda w function of the left-hand side. And because of space, I am going to take the right-hand side and also work on it. Now from LHS, from, okay, right-hand side. That would be Haro HS from the right-hand side. Sorry for the slip. So 3 to the power of 30 multiply ln of a 3. I can split 30 as 27 plus 3. So this becomes 3 to the power of 27 plus 3. I'll put this in parentheses. Multiply ln of a 3. Now again, from the product rule of exponent, if we have a to the power of x multiply a to the power of y, we retain the base and add the exponents. This becomes a to the power of s plus y. So it therefore implies that if we have a to the power of s plus y, we can actually break this down to a to the power of x multiply a to the power of y. When we make do with this, we shall define the context of this right-hand side. So this is going to give us 3 to the power of 27 multiply 3 to the power of 3 multiply ln of 3. Now 3 cubed is 27. I can write this elegantly as 27 ln of 3 multiply 3 to the power of 27. Now we have done very well. The next thing for us to do here again is to take uh, e to the ln of uh, 3 so that the exponent can match with the coefficient. So I will do that in this other part of the board. So I can write that how it has to become 27 ln of 3 e to ln of 3 raised to the power of uh, 27. So if I clean up this expression here, it's going to give us 27 ln of 3 exponential. 27 multiplied ln of 3, that will be 27 ln of 3. So folks, you can see that we've also achieved the desired symmetricity and parity on the right-hand side of this equation in this uh, form. So what I'm going to do next now is to merge the LHS with the, uh, with the ROHS. I want to merge both sides of this equation together so that we can take the lambda W function at once. So hence, we are going to be having 30 minus x, ln of 3 from the left-hand side, exponential, 30 minus x multiply ln of 3, on the right-hand side, we are going to be having 27 ln of 3 exponential 27 ln of 3. And the next thing is to take the lambda W of both sides, or the product log. I will write W, open a bracket, 30 minus x, put this in parentheses, ln of 3 exponential 30 minus s in parentheses, ln of 3. I'll close the bracket, equal to W of the right-hand side. That will be 27 ln of 3 exponential 27 ln of 3. 
Now, as you can see from the lambda w function or the polar log, now we have lambda w of a e to the a equal to a. It means that because the coefficient of this exponent, terry minus s ln of t, is the same thing as the power, therefore means that the left-hand side is the same thing as 30 minus s ln of 3. So if we take the lambda of w of the left-hand side, we have 30 minus s ln of 3. Then, if we do the same thing to the right-hand side, if we take the lambda of w function, we are going to be having 27 ln of 3. So ln of 3 will cancel out. We are going to be having 30 minus x equal to 27. So s will be 30 minus 27. So s will be equal to 3. So s equal to 3. So guys, this is the solution to this problem. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Ensure you share it with your learning friends and colleagues. And make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notification so that you wouldn't miss out on our upcoming videos. See you next time and stay blessed.